Hello friends, good evening. Today I am coming up with some of the hacks which is required for any manufacturing company to commit a secure lead time to customer. Now in Odoo you will find a different type of lead times. How exactly it works? Let us quickly see this in context of maybe sales, purchase and manufacturing lead times how it works and then I will show you how automation can lead you to give a perfect manufacturing lead time based on days to prepare manufacturing order. Now starting with manufacturing when you create any bill of material for any product in miscellaneous you will find days to prepare manufacturing order. So how exactly this is coming? So this is coming based on the components availability. So based on the forecast, it will set up the total lead time to procure all the material and start our manufacturing days. So you can see 8 days is my lead time currently. How it comes? It comes from the highest lead time from one of my component. Some of the components where my purchase lead time is 5 days, 2 days and 8 days respectively for RM1, RM2 and RM3. Where I have set it on my product in the vendor I have set 5 days so let's say if I make it 12 days and then go back to my bomb overview and check the forecast and refresh it ok so for RM1 it is always available that's why it is 12 days but my final lead time is 8 days because this component is not available you see if I don't have RM1 then again it will go to that. Now if I say RM1 is always replenished on order and then again check my you know overview or forecast. Now we can see that it is still available in stock so it is not considering any forecast till now. But now if let's say my RM1 is goes out of stock okay and then if I say my forecast report for BOM overview okay now this BOM overview when I compute it will come to 12 days and over here now if I say forecast it will now convert into 12 days because this particular item is not available in stock and hence it is now available maximum in 12 days of duration after procurement. So this is how I can calculate my total procurement lead time to start you know producing this finished code. Okay. So then again second component is the operation time. So operation time is very less but I am focusing more on the lead time of procurement of materials. Hence now if I calculate this days to prepare manufacturing order is 12 days and then it is having a field days to prepare MO. So what I do is now if I want to give a realistic timeline to my customer when I am selling this product because this finished good is again you know make to order like replenish on order only and then I have to give a specific customer lead time based on my days to prepare MO. So what I have done is I have created or call a related field from my days to prepare and call it over here which is 12 days from my MO availability calculation. Now what I need to do is I need to copy this 12 days to customer lead time. So what we can do is we can simply write an automation rule where I can say update sell lead time. And then on my product, if I want to say, I want to have on creation or let's say on create or edit or after create anything I can give, let's say after creation and I want to match my records where I have bill of material is set and then I want to add an action for executing a code which says 
update cell lead time and over here i need to write my function that function is nothing but in my product master what i need to do is in my finished goods i want to copy this 12 days to this 8 days and automatically update on my server action over and action over here so this field is sale delay and this field is you know x studio days to prepare ammo so i have write a copy function a python code record is sale delay which is equal to record this x studio days to prepare ammo and what i will do is i will simply go over here and write that python string and my thing is you know done so if i say on create or on create or edit or on any of the you know after creation or anything you know i want this to be done so this code is there automation rule is written okay and then over here it will be also available in my actions now so this is available action now and then i will create contextual action so what it will do is it will create a button in my server action okay like this update sales lead time so over here now in inventory i go and update lead time it will automatically update my lead time based on my days to prepare ammo so now what happens is when i am committing any sales to any customer about my finished good now it will automatically calculate the 12 days based on my current date as a part of my entire sales lead time based on my production lead time so this is one part where you can write a small simple automation code and achieve this required functionality for a smooth manufacturing lead time and then commit a customer lead time also so this is one part now let's understand a different type of lead time available in our oru so let me start with our inventory configuration and then you can find the days to purchase a kind of you know days which will you know again give us some security days to confirm the po2 vendor so if i say one more day over here in days to purchase then what it will do it will give one more day to confirm that PO from vendor and a kind of security so if I go to my you know bill of material again and over here if I say compute it will compute 13 days why because my one of the product which is taking 12 days then now it is taking 13 days because it requires a approval so this 13 days and this 9 days which are make to order which are only placing purchase order based on my order days which is converted from uh, you know normal 12 days of cycle to purchase plus one day of additional vendor security days so this is how it will update now on my finished code if i go to my product template then currently it will be 12 days and simply in bulks i can update this and it will become 13 days so over here if i go to my product master and on finish code or anywhere i can just run this and it will update myself let's create one new product like fg1 is my finished code and i want to have manufacture based on order only and in bill of material let me use those item like rm2 and rm3 so these two items will be used and over here if i say compute it will take nine days based on my highest time to procure rm3 rm3 procurement days are eight days plus one day of security and then now on my fg1 or any product if i go like both so in, if i go to fg1 let's say my fg1 is here whereby you know this customer lead time is zero right now but when i go to my list view i select fg1 run this action 
and then go back to, again it will update my customer lead time over here very simply now let's understand different lead times based on inventory i am going again into inventory settings and then let's understand security lead time for sales now what it will do if i disable this okay and create any sales order let's say for finished goods i am preparing a sales order where the expected delivery date is 12 days from now based on my entire cycle and if i confirm the delivery date is planned on 26 only the schedule is 26 now let's understand if i update the security lead time for sales by two days so how odoo will react on my any new order let's say i'm duplicating this and it will create a new order for my customer to the same item and the lead time is again 12 days total as soon as i confirm it will create a delivery but delivery schedule date is changed two days prior as a type of you know security days so that is how you can create a security lead time for sales order so final delivery date is 26 but it will create a kind of schedule alert two days prior which is 24th so this is one more setting now you can also create security lead time for purchase let's say it is right now zero or i don't enable it so based on my demand let's say from manufacturing this purchase order has been raised and this purchase deadline was you know today and expected arrival is after 12 days and one day of customer uh, ask confirmation to my vendor so this is how it is iterating right now so if i confirm this order it is done now let's say for rm1 rm3 both are there and i am updating my security lead time for purchase with three days okay so it is move forward ex expected request date you know so how it will behave so if i go and create one more sales order with let's say 10 items so it will trigger a delivery and manufacturing in manufacturing it will create a purchase so what it will do is it will create a order deadline you know based on this particular three more days security lead time for purchase so move forward expected request creation date okay so expected arrival arrival is uh, you know earlier it used to be you know different based on you know nine days now it is 20 so my expected order deadline was 14 earlier now it becomes you know eight because i have to procure this material three days prior to that and three plus one days you know so that is totally i need to procure this material in advance so that's why the order deadline was coming even different so now if i go to my purchase order my previous purchase order the confirmation date was 14 but here it is 8 so that's how this particular purchase uh, you know lead time works over here now the same way if you go to manufacturing you will also find security lead time so it will again you know prepond your manufacturing order based on this security lead time so that you can schedule on time and you can you know uh, plan your production accordingly so this is how different lead times are working in odoo and with this simple hack you can copy your manufacturing days you know for manufacturing to customer lead time and that will help you to commit your customer right way based on days to prepare manufacturer order two days to deliver also so this manufacturing lead time again will you know create the similar kind of effect which will you know add those days so let's say now this is 13 days and if i say two more days to this so in my boom overview if i say forecast you know it is total lead time will be you know 13 plus you know additional lead time so these two days are added over here which is 15 days now so if i compute it will now mark 16 days total in terms of my total delay and hence 
now if i go in my product list and update you know in bulk with this action it will automatically update my lead time this will become nine days and this will you know days to prepare and now it will become 16 days so this is how we can also update our manufacturing days to prepare and based on that we can update the sales delay or sales lead time based on this settings hope this will work for many people to give realistic timeline to the customer based on the entire production cycle thank you